So you know that story, the one about an elderly person who reaches the end of life and realizes, oh, kettle, I'm making tea. Anyways, we're talking about elderly people and their inability to do what they want in their life. And to finish the story, the elderly person is realizing, holy shit, I'm at the end of my life and I didn't pursue any things I wanted. I realized that I've been focused on a job that's never allowed me to pursue the things I want. That's my anti-vision. Like, like most of us, who, who would want that? Who would want to end life not feeling happy? with what they have done. So, the question becomes, how does YouTube allow me to overcome that? And that's why I've got this tea, because I want to discuss it with you. So, sit back, relax, and let's get into it. And we're back. Okay, hopefully you got some tea. In this video, I want to talk about three things. It's the freedom to create, authenticity, and lastly, a analogy for every creator or anyone who's trying to do something new. Stick to the end and I'll tell you about it. But essentially to start off this video, YouTube has given me the freedom to choose what I want to create. And the reason I told that analogy about those elderly people at the start of this video is because it's something we all love to say in conversation, you know, makes us feel all wise and Oh yes, I know all those regrets, but how many of us actually take action towards it? Or rather, how many of us actually do anything about it? And I really like to think about it, and why I want to remind you of it, is because it's something we all know. If we don't do anything about our dreams, nothing will change, right? We are our habits, and if our habits don't create a lifestyle in which will allow us to achieve those dreams, it will never happen, and we'll all end up old, and we'll end up sad. So this is your wake up call, if that resonated with you, to start doing something. Because YouTube has been something that I've always wanted to do, but I've been so afraid of having to put myself out there. And even doing a video like this, I can feel anxiety building as I keep talking because you keep wondering, will I lose what I'm trying to say? Will I forget the whole point of this message? And so on. And maybe it's just the caffeine in this tea or it's just the jitters of trying to say something and trying to say something profound. And you put all this pressure that you have to say something. Uh, that's not where this video is supposed to be going, but clearly it's something I feel like it's important to communicate because it's important to realize that it doesn't really matter what you say as long as you feel like it's important to you. Well, that's a nice way of putting it. I said a lot of words just then. I don't know how, yeah, I don't know how much of that made sense, but hopefully it did. If you're still here, I'm making some type of logic. So I'm gonna keep running with it. So we talked about older people. We talked about my thoughts about how YouTube gives me the freedom to create. And that kind of leads me to recently, I've gone full time, right? This is actually my second month doing YouTube full time. And by creating videos, I start to realize the videos in which I am trying to be like someone, even if whether it's intentional or not, are the videos that do the worst. Because people can see through that stuff. Man, right away. It's quite impressive, we as humans. Because I think I'm being all clever. And I think I'm, wow, like, you know, I made a video. It's exactly like this other YouTuber. And I don't feel like I'm copying them, but really I am still hiding behind their successful idea rather than running with my own idea. And that's really challenging to get to, to overcome because I noticed that the videos that do well of mine, or at least have got traction, are the ones where I was authentically creating and I was following a vision that I truly believed in. It wasn't because I thought it was popular, it's because I inherently wanted to do them. And isn't that the most beautiful thing, like actually having success is a way of almost indicating to me, oh yeah, that's him because he's being more, you know, in tune with his passions. 
that's pretty awesome. Like, there's not many things in the world which allow you to to be aligned or to dive deeper into your actual personality. And something like YouTube really, you know, for, it can be really corny because there's a lot of people talking to cameras nowadays. But I think there's a lot of growth that comes from having to sit behind a camera and stand up for something to say to the world, you know, this is who I am and this is what I'm trying to communicate. Because out of all the things you could have chosen, for some reason, you chose this. I think that's really cool. I think there's, I have a lot of curiosity, you know? You know when you meet someone who's really passionate in something like, let's say, in, like in the gym, or they're really curious about bloody dinosaurs, I don't know. You actually can find a lot of interest from them because it's really fascinating that they decided to lock on to this one idea and devote all their time and attention into it. To me, that's what makes someone interesting. To me, that's what gives me at least a lot of energy. And I feel like when I'm listening to them talk about certain things, I get more excited. And the reason I'm telling you all of that is because when I've started creating videos, I'm starting to realize, oh my God, these are the things I like to talk about because I find it very easy to speak about. I find, very, I find it very easy to continue talking in a way in which makes me feel like I'm more connected with my reality. I know, a bit deep there, but if you can keep watching, you realize that making videos is the single best way in trying to understand what you stand for. And this will lead to more authenticity and a deeper understanding of yourself because you realize, oh my God, over time at least, if you consistently keep creating this is what I like to create and this is where I want my life to go. And all YouTube does is it allows people to live out their passions. And that is the most beautiful job I can imagine. Yes, there's some things about YouTube which, you know, some things will be popular and some things won't be. But I truly believe if you're passionate enough and you're really curious about your, let's say whatever your passion is, that will resonate with enough people. Um, because we're not really, we all, you know, strive and popularize individuality and, you know, we want to stand up for it. But at the end of the day, there's so many things that make us all human and the individuality creates a little spark of interest and that allows us to, you know, we all have our own authentic experience, but at the end of the day, we're all humans. And so I want to end this video with an analogy of the man in the arena. Or rather to make it more of a modern day context, imagine you're a football player. You're one of the best, you know, you're a striker for let's say Manchester United or whatever. And you're the one on the field playing. The hardest thing when you're doing something new or you're creating or if you're standing in front of a huge crowd of people, you know, creating a video that could be viewed by a million people or the entire world, believe it or not, that's what's crazy. If you're the one actually doing that, Everyone can watch at the field, you know, you're in, you're in this football stadium. Everyone can point the finger and say, oh my God, why is he being weird? Or why are they doing that? Or this, that, and all these anxieties that you can have when you're creating content. God, I haven't finished any of my tea. You can tell it's getting good though, if you're still engaged in that, of course. With the analogy, everyone can see, everyone has a holistic view of the game. But when you're the player and you're the one actually in the arena, that is the hardest thing because all you can see is one view. I suppose all these other people and all these other critics, they can point the finger and tell that, oh, why didn't he pass the ball there? Or why didn't they move in that direction? Or whatever you can come up with. What matters is if you know you're the person on the field and you're the one delivering, right? You're the one actually trying to score the goals. That's the important thing to remember because you're actually standing up and actually doing the work. As opposed to everyone else who's hiding behind the keyboards, typing away. Um, and I feel like that's a really important thing to remember that as long as you enjoy the process, as long as you enjoy what you're doing, the rest is just, the rest is just chatter. You know, if you focus on the systems that you have, the habits that you have, you know, your passions of why you want to create what you want to create, 
then it's just a matter of time. And that's, that's a belief of mine. And hopefully I can prove that on this, you know, on this account. Um, because my favorite films, you know, the ones that I see out in cinemas and stuff like that, are the films that really allow me to feel more inspired with my life. Make me realize that, oh my God, there is so much more to life than what I do at home. You know, I should, should go out and interact with life. I should go out and see things instead of just sitting in my room, drinking tea and talking to a camera. But I don't do that because I have no idea where this video is going. So I'm just gonna end it there because I feel like that's